Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Alvis again at Montgomery College, and this time we're looking at types of verbs and verb forms. I'll give you some terms and concepts that are common in grammar books, but you'll need for your introduction to linguistics class. We've seen some of these ideas in previous lectures, uh, but there are several other types of verbs. So let's first recall those basic inflectional suffixes on verbs, the uh, S, uh, ED, and uh, ING forms. So uh, S, they study, but she studies. That is a present tense verb, but in this case, the subject is singular, she. So we'll call this the uh, singular present tense verb form. Okay, let's get an ED form. Develop, developed. Now, we've said it was past, has a past tense function. They developed a program. And that seems simple enough. That is a past tense verb. But what if I do this? A program will be developed uh, by, uh, by them. But this ED, it's not clearly uh, in the past tense because it's will be. This is called passive. And we use past participle verbs for these. It's parallel to write, wrote, written. That written form is called an irregular verb. All right, except that de developed is just a regular verb with that ed form instead. Uh, one more way we can use them is like this. The, uh, it is a very developed program. And uh, we still call this a, a past participle, but it functions as an adjective. We can see the very in front of it, and it's uh, a noun going after it, okay? With ing, let's get a, a sample. Excite, exciting. Uh, he is currently exciting the audience. And we've said that was for a progressive tense, and that's fine. But in fact, that verb form is called the uh, present uh, I call a present participle, okay, to express that progressive tense. Uh, here's another way, uh, an exciting, a, a very exciting idea. And in this case, our present participle uh, functions as an adjective, okay? Uh, we see that very and a noun. All right, fine. Another two categories of verbs are auxiliary verbs and uh, modal verbs. And uh, auxiliary verbs include do, have, and be. And uh, these function as follows. Uh, he does know. Uh, does he know? He does not know. In this case, uh, does is used uh, to make a question, and we also negate with this. We use negation with this. There's one more detail, which is that subject verb agreement for this uh, singular present tense form. Modal verbs don't have that. Would, could, can, will, etc. So they do this. He will know. Will he know? He will not know. In this case, we can still ask questions and make it a sentence negative, but there's no uh, subject verb agreement on these modal verbs. Next, after that, uh, he will be here. With our modal here, what we have is called a basic form of the verb. Be is the basic form of uh, is, are, and so on. Finally, we have infinitives, which is uh, to, not quite a suffix, plus a basic form of a verb. I want to study linguistics. And in this case, uh, it has a variety of functions we don't have time to cover, but uh, these are the verb forms and verb types that you need to know. Slow down and watch it again. I know I went fast. Good luck.